Hey Leos, happy October. I hope you guys have been having a really good September. Today we're going to go into your October 2018 forecast and I feel like you guys must be really, really confused because there are a lot of thoughts revolving around a certain situation in your life and there's just so many thoughts that it's really hard for me to keep track of them all and I hope that I get them, <clears throat> I remember them all and I can get them all in this video. But Basically what I'm feeling is that there's a lot of things that are going well in your life and that you're feeling happy about, but there is something that you are a little sad about, like there's something that, something or someone that you are kind of missing because you feel like there's going to be an ending to that situation or to your relationship with that person. And in some ways, you would actually like things to work out with that person, and I think you've tried. But in other ways, thinking about an ending with them kind of brings on some feelings of excitement because when someone leaves your life, there is room for someone new to come into your life someone that is new, which means they're exciting, they're interesting, there's new potentials. It's just, it's different and it could be better. But at the same time, when you think about your life without the current person and you think about having this new other person or situation in your life and the excitement that comes with it, that makes you sad. Like there's a little bit of sadness because your current person isn't there in that new excitement and they have been there and so you that vision of something new and exciting is, is a little bit tainted because it kind of makes you miss the person that you're currently with or the situation that you're currently in so you guys kind of have a lot of mixed feelings because on the one hand you want this current situation to work out, but on the other hand, you're ready for something new. But on the other hand, when you think about something new, it's exciting, but then you miss the person that you're with because they won't be a part of that new picture and that makes you feel a little bit sad and like maybe you're letting them down or you kind of discarded them. You're leaving them behind is kind of what it feels like and that doesn't feel very good. And what I'm getting is that there doesn't... So I think that this ending that you guys are feeling is going to happen, I think that you've, it's something that you have been wanting to maybe initiate, like you have considered being the one that ends things, but I actually feel like, and maybe you guys feel this too now, is that the other person involved may be the one that is actually the one that ends it because they've been feeling this ending coming along and they've really tried really hard to be there for you and to put in whatever is needed but maybe you haven't been communicating very clearly and so they're kind of getting fed up and when this ending happens they're basically ready to go because they're they're tired because they've tried so hard and you just haven't done your part of communicating to them so that they can make things better and when that continues to happen it can be very frustrating to that person and they just are ready to just throw up their hands and just be like, all right, I'm out. And I think that as sad as it may be, it really may be time for you to let this person or this situation go because even though you're going to miss them and feel like you're leaving them behind, you're really not able to be there for them or completely commit and they can kind of feel that and they're really starting to feel that and it's bringing them down and then because you're not really letting them go you are preventing them from being able to move forward in their lives and progress and grow because you're keeping them and they really want to make this work and so they're not leaving on their own necessarily, although I think if you were to bring about an ending, they'd be ready this time. So 
I think that if you really can't be there for this person in the way that feels right, where you feel like you are really being there for them, that like you can on honestly say that, I think it might be time to let them go. And I'm not saying that you need to go out there and initiate that ending, but if you're feeling this ending come about and the situation presents itself naturally and it just comes up that you're gonna have, like, it's really important that you go through with it because that's the best way that you can be there for this person. And if you're holding on to them, you're not really being fair to them. And then in some ways you're not really being fair to yourself because I don't necessarily see things improving and, and they could improve, but you guys just can't be committed to them or you won't be committed to them. You're, you're not able to, or you're not letting yourself be committed to them. And because you're making that choice, I, I see you guys sticking with that choice, and so you're kind of dragging them along, which is not fair to them. So, and it was kind of a, a sad situation, but I really think that you'd be doing both of yourselves a favor, and especially this other person that you think you're going to hurt, you'd actually be doing them a great favor by letting them go and letting them kind of be off on their own to heal and then to really grow from what has happened and progress and be able to find somebody or a situation that can really support them and really be there for them and really gels and jives with them and who they are. So that is what I'm getting for you guys for October 2018. So some rough energies, but I think you guys already know a lot of this. So yeah, that concludes this video. So thank you guys for listening and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you.